boys and girls, Wonky and I are going to tell you a story about what Gary did this week. I'll start, Linky. It was coming up to Christmas and Gary needed some new garden tools. I know, said Gary. I want a letter to Father Christmas and ask him for a new shovel as the handle is about to break off of the one I've got. And I'll ask Father Christmas for some new pots to plant more flowers as well. Off Gary went to his house to write the letter. After he had finished writing it, he put it in a big red envelope and wrote Father Christmas's name on it and his North Pole address on the front and put a stamp on it ready to post. When Gary had a break from working in his garden, he took his letter to the letterbox to post to Father Christmas. On the way, he bumped into Wookie, didn't he? Yes, he did, Leaky. And I said, Hello, Gary. Where are you going? And Gary said, I'm going to post this letter to Father Christmas. I stared at Gary and said, But Father Christmas only brings presents for boys and girls. But Gary said, I've been good this year and I'm sure he wouldn't forget me. Yes, and then a bit later on, Gary's girlfriend Rose saw him and waved to him. Hello, Gary. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to post this letter to Father Christmas, said Gary. And Rose laughed and said, Very funny, Gary. Do you know that Father Christmas only delivers presents to boys and girls? Yes, I know that, Rose, said Gary. But I've been good all this year and I'm sure he wouldn't forget me. And he carried on to post his letter. Just as Gary arrived at the letterbox, he saw you, Leaky. And he said, hello, Leaky. Have you posted your letter to Father Christmas? No, said Leaky. Father Christmas only takes presents to boys and girls. That's funny, said Gary. Rose and Wonky said the same thing. But I've been good this year. And I'm sure Father Christmas wouldn't forget me. Gary took out the big red envelope from his pocket and put it in the letterbox. There, it's done, said Gary. I just hope it gets to Father Christmas on time. Back at Gary's garden, Rose was talking to Wonky and me and said, I've just seen Gary going to post a letter to Father Christmas. Yes, and Wonky said, he told me he was going to do that. Well, I said to them, I saw him actually put it in the letterbox. How strange, said Rose. I told Gary that he only delivers presents to boys and girls. Yes, I told him that as well, said Wonky. Gary actually asked me if I'd posted my letter to Father Christmas Leaky. As it got nearer to Christmas... Gary became excited as he wondered if Father Christmas had received his letter and was going to bring him his new presents. The day before Christmas, Gary had finished all his work in the garden. He went into his house and got ready for bed. It had been a busy day and he was very tired and he went straight off to sleep. Father Christmas had received Gary's letter. And although he usually only takes presents to good boys and girls, he decided to take Gary his presents, as he knew Gary had been good all year round, helping children learn about gardening and healthy eating, and didn't want Gary to be disappointed. Hee <laughs> hee! When Gary woke up on Christmas morning, he went through to his front room and looked underneath his Christmas tree. There were two boxes that hadn't been there the night before. Yes, said Gary and punched the air. Father Christmas did get my letter and he has bought the presents that I asked him for. yee Gary had the best Christmas ever and it proved that being good all year 
around always pays off. So that's the end of story, boys and girls. And everybody, so have a Merry Christmas. Whoosh! Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope you get lots of presents. Bye! <laughs>